Welcome to Spatry's Cup of Linux. In this episode, we are going to discuss the Kodak ESP C310 printer. Now, this printer has been on the market for a little while, but it was advertised as being um, one of the most cost effective printers that's out there in terms of purchasing ink, which we all know is ridiculously high in price. And additionally, it does a beautiful job of printing photos and text. Now, when I purchased this printer, I was still running Windows 8, and it worked sufficiently for my needs, but once I switched to Linux, I was unable to get this printer to work unless I uh, installed it in a virtual machine. And uh, I have virtual machines installed, and uh, I'm able to use the printer that way. But I wanted to show another alternative. Uh, recently, Kodak released a nifty little program for the Android called PicFlick. And uh, here's my uh, Android device here. And um, basically, it allows you to take any images that you have on your mobile device and transmit them wirelessly to your printer. And so I'm going to show you today how to use how to uh, use Linux to create uh, images, uh, text file images with graphics that uh, will print sufficiently using this program because the PicFlick only allows you to print photos, not text. But there is a workaround, and so I'm going to show you that here. Now, as you can see already, I have opened. Uh, uh, LibreOffice, and I have a uh, document with a printer and uh, a little bit of text here. And uh, I've already went ahead and I have gone in and saved this as a PDF file. And uh, you just do that from the file menu, export as PDF. And I already have one saved right here, so I'll go ahead and close this out. And here's our PDF document right here with the... Uh, with the uh, image and uh, the little bit of text I have here. Now, uh, before we uh, continue any further, uh, we've already got our PDF saved. Let's go ahead and now uh, make this a JPEG image. And it's got to be a JPEG image that uh, the Kodak PicFlick will be able to uh, interpret and send to your printer. All right, first what we need to do is we need to go into Synaptic and make sure that we have a program called Image Magic installed. I'll go ahead and put in my password here. And let's do a search for that item. Image. If I can learn how to type. And there it is. It's Image Magic. M-A-G-I-C-K. I don't know where they got that spelling from, but that's okay. This program will allow you to use the command line and convert a PDF into a JPEG. Something I need to also mention that if your PDF has more than one page, when you go through the conversion process, it will make an indip individual JPEG file that, um, that you'll have to print individually. Okay. Now down here, whoops didn't mean to do that. Down here I have some code that uh, we, well, obviously we can't copy and paste it here, but that's all right, I'll just type it in. Uh, we have some code here that we're going to send uh, to our terminal. And uh, let me pull up my terminal. By the way, if you're wondering what I'm using, this is terminal is called Gwake, G-U-A-K-E, and this is similar to the Quake terminal in the video game. I like this because I can just press one key and my terminal comes up and I can go ahead and start issuing commands. So let's go ahead and now I have already navigated to the folder that this sample file resides in. If I, if I list, you will see that I have right up here the sample PDF file. Okay, so let's go ahead and issue our command convert. hyphen density 300 now uh, the larger the number you use the bigger the file you're going to get and uh, obviously the sharper the quality of the picture that's going to print 
for a text file, 300 is good. For uh, a graphic file, uh, you could go with 150. But to stay on the safe side, 300 works for me. Okay, and then we have sample. <coughs> Excuse me there. Got a little bit of a cold I'm catching here. And then uh, sample PDF is the name of the file. We do a space, and then what we want to convert it to, sample dot jpg ah helps if I type it in correctly okay Okay, conversion is completed. I can go ahead and close my terminal. And we'll navigate to our folder. And you will see that we have a nice copy of our, uh, of our PDF. And this will be suitable for printing. Okay, and the best way to transfer this to your phone, I have a Gmail account tied into... Uh, tied into my um, uh, my Android, so uh, I just go ahead and email the image to myself on my, and then I just download the image to uh, my Android, and then uh, then it's just simple as making sure that your printer is connected to your home network, and that you have Wi-Fi enabled on your device, and then it's just simple as uh, opening up the program. There's PickFlick right here. And, of course, it wants me to connect to Wi-Fi. And I already have some documents here that I have already sent uh, to the printer as a print job. Once both are connected, you just press the item, and then you just press the item you want to send. I know the image is probably crappy, but you click the image you want, and then you press Send, and it will send the print job to your to your printer and it will come out. Well, I hope that helps out somebody. I know um, it took me quite a bit of digging to uh, learn how to do this little trick. Um, see you next time on Spatry's Cup of Linux.